Hey everybody, it's Brennan the Palo Dude here with another Jurassic World toy review. So today I've got a very exciting figure. It's the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Plesiosaur. I actually found this guy a day after learning that it had been sighted in Canada. And since I live in Canada, I decided to uh, take a look around at some Walmarts and Toys R Uses to see if I could spot it. And lucky enough, I was able to find one. So this guy has been quite the rare figure. It's been sighted in a few other places, but so far not the United States, as far as I know, as well as its uh, blue counterpart, the Battle Damage Plesiosaur, which I'm hoping will come out here soon, as we have been having uh, the Ceratosaurus, Monolophosaurus, and um, Battle Damage Herrerasaurus pop up once in a while now in Walmarts. So anyways... I'll do a quick history of this guy before I get to unboxing it. Plesiosaurus has actually been in the Jurassic Park franchise for a very long time. Um, in 1993, there was a die-cast plesiosaur made, and it came in a set with a uh, iguanodon. And as you can see, this guy's orangey-yellow, and it comes with a little card too. So it's got a very similar paint job, well not very similar, but close to it, to this guy. He's kind of beige uh, beige yellow, which kind of is similar to this, being orange and beige with the kind of underbelly of the same color and tone. But I really enjoy how they had brought this marine reptile into the newer toy line because they've already had uh, Mosasaurus, and they did plan on having Ichthyosaurus and plesiosaurus in Jurassic World as they're featured in the storyboards. Anyways, a very amazing addition and it has been also featured in many Jurassic World games like uh, Jurassic World Builder and whatnot and I find it's a really nice figure to include in the toy line and hopefully they continue with other marine reptiles like Ichthyosaurus and maybe Elasmosaurus. And it's actually a very perfect size. If you scale it up with um, the human figures, this is actually around the size uh, Plesiosaur got. Uh, most people are confusing it with Elasmosaurus, which did quite, it did get quite larger. So this guy's got a lot of articulation. At first glance, you can see the neck has articulation. It can go up and down and the head's got full rotation and the jaws can open. And it's got all these little teeth inside its mouth for catching fish, kind of like a trap. And paint job inside the mouth. No paint on the top jaw, but the tongue and the back of the mouth. And these little flaps here, they've got paint on them. And then it's got a very nice dark bluish, blackish color on the back, which is very realistic as these creatures would not want predators to see them. They'd have black on the top, so when Mosasaurus would be looking down, it wouldn't really see it but a shadow. And if it was looking up, it would see that nice white beigey underbelly, kind of matching the light coming from the surface, similar to like orcas and other sharks and whatnot. And this marine reptile lived during the Jurassic period, so it's very cool to get another Jurassic creature in the toy line. So I'll get right ahead. Oh, and one more feature. Both sets of paddles flap up and down. Uh, when I first saw this figure online, I thought it was just the front two, because it kind of showed it on the package, but yeah, it turns out the back two also go up and down. So we'll see the full extent of those right as I unpack this. And on the back of the packaging, you can see the rest of the figures in the line. The Savage Strike assortment, like the new uh, Dilophosaurus and Raptor. And I'll get the card out in a second. So here it is. Very streamlined in appearance. The tail can go up and down in the back. It's got a little bit of articulation, kind of like a beaver's tail, very flat. And here is the action feature where it swims. And you can see they're on ball joints or hinges. 
And here's the scan code, so let's see if I can make this one work. So hopefully you guys got that. If you did not, you can comment down below and I can do another um, video or post the scan code actually on Instagram. So let's see the scale of this figure. You can put it in the mouth of the Moza and you can see it fits right in there quite easily. And here's the full, ex almost full extent of the Mosasaurus. And it's longer than the Mosasaurus flipper, its body at least. Um, up to the midpoint in the neck. And again, compared to a human figure, if this guy was just sitting like so, it's quite flat. There we go. So it's roughly around the size of its neck portion. And it also sizes up with the raptors quite well. You can see like that. So yeah, there we go. There's some scales, and I'll get the card out of the back. I actually haven't seen the card art for this figure before, so I'm very curious as to what the artwork looks like. I'm very excited. I'm hoping they did a good job with this. So let's take a look. And then here's the card art. It's got a similar color, it's a little bit darker, and very nice skull shape. Most uh, marine reptiles like Elasmosaurus and Plesiosaurus have those needle teeth that point outwards out of their jaw, which kind of interlock together. And the figure does quite a great job at showing that with them jutting out and then interlocking like that. Kind of like how the Indoraptor has its jaw like that. So overall, this figure is really amazing. And I love what they did with the action feature with the paddling. Now, I'm not sure if this figure is waterproof as its mechanisms probably have springs or metal parts to them, so it might rust and it might not work. So I might actually, if I am able to, find a second one and test it out in the water a little bit and see if this figure is uh, water tolerant or not. But I'm hoping that it is so that people can get really great shots of this figure without um, wrecking or ruining that action feature. So hopefully it's all just plastic in there. But I can't wait to start taking photography of this little guy. It's gonna look really amazing in shots with the Mosasaurus. And again, I find it's an amazing part, a really great addition to the Jurassic World toy line. And I'm really hoping to see marine reptiles in the future films. And that concludes my video thanks for watching guys um stay tuned i've got a quite a lot of new content planned for my channel it's just that i've gotten quite busy with fossil hunting and work and whatnot so i haven't been getting around to doing it lately but hopefully in the coming days and weeks to follow i will be getting more of these figures out hunting more and doing more reviews so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.